My name is Alexandra Wilson. I am an associate editor at Forbes, primarily editing the under 30 lists. So this is a year-long project. We have reporters in the field working in their industries, constantly looking for the next up-and-coming entrepreneurs. We also have an open nomination process, so truly anyone can nominate themselves or anyone else. This is a long process. First, the reporters that are editing the category will nominate a couple individuals to become the call-out lottery. Then we'll go through those, we'll push back, we'll ask for more, and eventually the final decision is made by Forbes Magazine's the Chief Content Officer, Randall Lane. So each category has an A-list panel of judges, and these are people that are at the top of their field. They're CEOs, they're founders, they're venture capitalists, they're individuals that are constantly interacting with these types of companies and really know what it takes to succeed. So we have 10 categories in Europe, and there's one individual per each category that is meant to serve as a face. That is, unless they're twin entrepreneurs, and then it's kind of hard to split them up. So what's really unique about the Europe list is we have everyone gather in one spot, in one day, and do a big photo shoot with all 10 of the callouts. And this is the only list we do that for. And it really makes it pop and really special, and it's one of the most exciting days of the year. Perhaps the best reaction that's ever happened is someone that was a call out a couple years ago. They were on the social entrepreneurs list and they had a sort of troubled relationship with their father. Um, he never really understood what he was doing and he was disappointed that he never graduated college. And he'd always planned to get his son a very nice watch when he graduated college, but that didn't happen. He went on to, you know, found a toy company that taught kids how to code. And so once he made the under 30 list it was, and appeared in Forbes magazine, it was the first time his father really understood what he did. And so he finally got him that watch engraved with Forbes 30 under 30 in the date. I did not get a watch out of that, but when I finally, I met him again in New York a couple years later and he took off his watch and it was a really special moment. 